Hello, everybody. I'm Tanner. I'm here with my colleague, Chrissy. We are both editors at a site you may have heard of, you may not have heard of, called Common Sense Education. We review a ton of ed tech and other learning resources and learning media. And we are here to talk to you about one of the more interesting reviews we've done recently. Chrissy, this is a review you did. So let's, uh, let's hear about this tool. Let's um, see how we reviewed it. All right. Well, it is called Frax, and it is an explore learning product. Um, and we ended up giving it five stars, which, if you're not familiar with our platform, is not super commonplace. We're, yeah. we're fairly selective. Um, I think it, I believe I've ran the numbers, but this is probably a few years old at this point. I think it's like five percent, three to five percent of reviews right. we do. Um, or five stars. So this is really a kind of a rare case. Yes. And it, it stands out for the following reasons. Um, firstly, it's all about fractions. Um, and it's not just fraction practice. So we see a lot of products that are, you know, kind of assume that kids have some familiarity with how fractions work and they're set up just to either mimic um, off-screen manipulatives that kids use or just practice, you know, kind of divide up a pizza, et cetera. <laughs> yeah. um, what's different about Frax is that it actually is walking kids through concepts to build understanding of what a fraction is, how it functions, what it looks like um, in sort of a, a virtual manipulative way, and then also in numerals. So in that way, it stands out all by itself. Um, it's also built upon research. So they actually, you know, looked at existing research, not of their own product, but of what works in terms of instruction around fractions. And they built the product based on that research, which is also, as we know, pretty unique. It doesn't happen all that often. Yeah. It is um, unfortunately rare that, uh, um, that a developer is very clearly aligning their learning design with existing evidence of what what's best for learning a particular set of concepts or skills. And yeah, that, so yes. I'm excited to see, cause I, you know, you were the editor on this review. I haven't really looked at this review in depth. So I'm excited to see um, what this thing's all about. Well, he, so here's what really hooked me. Um, and let me go ahead and share my screen so you can see some of the screenshots um, that we have going on here. And the first thing I actually want to show you is from the review itself. So I have some screenshots here and the whole program is fully embedded in this outer space adventure. So you have this dynamic group of ferrets, which <laughs> immediately you're like, great. Ferrets. There's a, there is a cat. I see a cat as well. Yes. I will get to that cat because that cat has a special place in my heart. We, we may also be getting to your real life cat who at any <laughs> given moment could begin howling. So. My elderly caterwauling cat may make an appearance. We'll see. <laughs> um, so we have these wonderful this crew of ferrets who are venturing into outer space and what happens and there are robots as well what happens in the course of the adventure is that fractions are just naturally a part of what needs to happen so if you need pieces of fuel canisters if you need um fractions to go get some space vegetables to make space soup which as you do uh, then you have to work with the fractions. And there are some common sort of um, mechanics that you might expect where you fill in gaps based on, you know, the visuals, which kind of plays into the virtual manipulative area. Um, but the other thing that's really cool is that as soon as you start to feel that, that mechanic fatigue where you're like, okay, I've done enough of this, I get it, it switches. And I felt like it happened at the perfect time. Um, so you start, you know, you're loading the truck and then it'll ask you, okay, well, how many? And then you actually have to input a number. And then now we're to the cat. Here we go. <laughs> Instead of just, um, you know, 
a, and a, a little assessment at the end that's a multiple choice quiz. Um, there's this adorable cat who goes and communes with these weird space beings and the space orbs or whatever they are, ask the cat questions and the cat has to answer the questions. So and there's, yeah. Is this an earth cat? Is this cat, a, is this cat essentially representing all of earth to alien ferret beings? I mean, if it is, it's doing an excellent job. I feel <laughs> it's our representative. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's a great space cat representative. I feel comfortable with it. So it's, it's good. Um, I haven't asked my own cat how, how she feels, but I love this space cat. Um, so even the assessment process feels really embedded, which is cool mm -hmm. and fun and weird enough, kind of quirky enough that kids will be like, what is, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah. Um, also, let's see what the, oh, so you get the first five missions for free um, and you can only do one mission per day. So it chunks it out so that kids aren't going to get really maxed out and um, kind of bored and, and get that, that fatigue that they can get from different platforms. Um, so that's cool. And then it kind of shows the progress of the kid again in this really organic way. Um, yeah, I love, I thing, love that. It, it, I mean, it is almost unheard of for a, for a developer to limit access <laughs> to their yeah. program. Um, but as we know, as teachers out there know, as students out there know, some of these things, you can burn out on them really quick if, if they just allow you to keep going. So it's great that they made the decision to say, no, this is, this is a set amount of learning time and you can come back and visit it, um, but we're not going to allow you to just burn out on this really quickly. I love that decision. Yes. Um, and then, of course, there's a, there's a really great um, teacher dashboard. Um, and I also just, I just was playing a little bit today. Um, and there was all of a sudden this, this new mechanic, which was a game show um, that is sort of another form of assessment, but also you have to use the manipulatives and input numerals. And so again, totally different kind of mixing it up, making it more fun. Um, mm. And I don't have an image of the reward area but we know that in games sometimes you know you do the math and then they have these fun elements where you can dress up your avatar or change this or change that and sometimes there are so many choices that kids can kind of get lost in those areas um but what i love about the rewards area in frax is that it's your room on the ship mm -hmm. and you can decorate it based on the number of coins that you've earned from doing activities. Mm -hmm. But the choices are fairly limited. You're not going to have enough coins to like scroll through endless, you know, choices and stuff. So kids will get that feeling of I'm personalizing this. I'm earning these rewards. I can make this cool room, but it's contained. It's not, yeah. you know, over the top. Um, so teachers aren't going to find their kids just hanging out in their space chamber or whatever, trying to, <laughs> trying to decorate it for hours on end. It really, um, it, to, it to me seems like this tool is just kind of an exemplar of design restraint, um, yes. really making sure to, to focus on what is necessary, trimming away the fat, but then also it seems like they're reinforcing the, the same sort of set of fractions concepts in a lot of different contexts reskinning it in, in the context of different games to keep it fresh, but all the while kind of secretly making you rehearse the same thing so that it sticks over time, which is a clever way to go about it, rather than having the same mini game that you just play over and over again. Yes, that's exactly it. Um, and also giving you, introducing the idea of improper fractions pretty early on, which I know, at least when I was getting fraction instruction as a kid, that was sort of the advanced fraction. You know, we'll get to that eventually, but mm -hmm. this just sort of introduces the idea of the whole and parts and how that can all work together um, 
with really thoughtful scaffolding. Yeah. So that's what I, I love about it as well. Um, a, um, this is something, you know, definitely worth checking out. It's gotten a five-star review from us. Um, so definitely check out this review. We'll link it in the description um, as well as a link to just the Common Sense Education site more broadly where you can browse uh, over 3,000 reviews at this point. We have top picks lists of fractions, products that kind of play in the same space as this. Although I don't know that we've ever given a fractions thing, a five-star review. Do you Good have a job, Frax. Yeah, it may be. It may be the first. I may be completely wrong. You know what? Go to the site, check it out, see if I'm wrong. Um, and then post, wait, you probably can't post a comment. We may have locked comments on our YouTube. So instead, telepathically send your <laughs> angry comment or praise to me. <laughs> Through the space cat. Yeah. <laughs> space cat will deliver it for Tell sure. Tell your cat and your cat will commune with, uh, through telepathy with me. Um, <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah, so go to commonsense.org slash education, uh, subscribe to our channel. We're planning on doing these regularly, weekly possibly would be the goal. We'll see if that happens um, and we'll see you uh, again, I guess, hopefully. <laughs>